Hello, Freddy. Hello, Freddy. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Perdomo. Freddy? <laughs> How are your, your dinner? Oh, was good. Was good. I got some pork, some pork um, um food. Uh, in Spanish, we call it chicharrones. Yeah, I got some chicharrones with some tortillas and avocado. That's what I got. Ah, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah delicious. I, I, I have, I have eaten lasagna. Oh, lasagna. That's also delicious. Uh -huh. Yeah. So Yes. thank you so much for sharing. It's wonderful. Okay. It's, it's nice to have you, Freddy. Welcome. And good evening, Okay. everybody. Welcome. I have um, you are happy at home, right? And ready to keep practicing this thing that is called learning English. Thank you so much for all the effort, all the support. you're doing right you're doing um excellent at work with all the activities you perform on the platform so thank you so much for uh, being so nice and for like um let's say uh do your role yeah thank you so much for for doing that okay so that's that's impressive from you and and as far as i know because i met you before right in the previous module yeah all of you you're great yeah so freddy Claudia, Jocelyn, um, eh, Marcos, eh, Janessi, Elisa, eh, also Jorge, um, Ana, Cristina, and Sandra. Thank you so much for doing your role at home. Yes, uh, for all the effort you're doing with this uh, bunch of activities that we have on the platform. Thank you so much for being so nice. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so, and keep working like that because you're doing it, all of you, Very good. Number section number five is the one we're going to have this week. As you may know, we're going to have a bunch of exercises and I'm going to a soccer match. <laughs> That's the title of this little section. I'm going to a soccer match, making plums. Oh, look at this one. What are your plans for this weekend? Mm -hmm. Janessi, what are you planning this coming weekend? What are you going to do? Good evening. Uh, well, I think I'm just going to practice English. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have any plan. Exactly. <laughs> oh, okay oh that's good that's good okay so thank you so much for sharing that yeah so we're gonna work this week we're gonna work with making plans yeah so at the end of the of the week like by Thursday you can figure it out you can use oh for this weekend I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do uh, this as well yeah so we're gonna work on this one and this week okay this is class number 13 oopsie that was like not good Uh, class number 13, and as you may know, yeah, Mr. Palom, it's nice to have you all. Okay, so let's begin with some information about how to decline an invitation. Look at you, right? When you got an invitation, like for a baby shower, yeah? <laughs> so you can say, I'm sorry, I won't, yeah? <laughs> also, when you don't want to go to a birthday party, right? Because, I mean, nowadays... Uh, well, if you go to Dollar City, you can get a gift, yeah, from there, right? Like three dollars gift, yeah, <laughs> from Dollar City, yeah. Uh, but this is how we like decline invitations politely. What is the meaning of politely, uh, Freddie? Amablemente. Exactly, very good, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, amablemente, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. politely. So you decline invitations politely. Let's describe first of all the picture, Claudia. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Tell me, what do you see here in this picture? Good evening. Um, there are two people, and they are talking, and the girl is um, maybe inviting him. Um, showing the the invitation card. Oh, that's good. That's good. What is what? What are they wearing, Claudia? Okay, she's wearing a blue a blue dress and a in a black sweater. Um, and 
uh, she's wearing a bag. Wearing. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is correct. Okay. That is where she's wearing a, a black bag, and she has a a short black hair. Oh, very good. Thank you so and much. And the boy is wearing a light blue shirt. That's correct. And a gray pant and gray pants. Mm -hmm. A brown belt, yeah. and he has maybe a suitcase, I guess. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's carrying he's carrying a suitcase. Carrying a suitcase. Okay, Very and good. that's it. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay, My so, uh, I was I was watching Freddy's uh, virtual background, so he's ready. He's ready for Christmas, right, Freddy? <laughs> I'm I'm ready for Christmas. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. That's very nice of you. Yeah. So instead of like paying, right? Like oh, for the uh, energy, right? You can like have it at that. Very good. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna read this information. Yeah. Related like how to decline um things. Hello, people at home. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. We're gonna have this girl whose name is Jocelyn Tatiana. Hello, Jocelyn. Welcome. Good evening. Hello, Hello. DJ. Thank you, Jocelyn. Please uh, do me a favor and read this information for everybody, please. Thank you. Okay. How to the... Oh, sorry. <laughs> How to... <laughs> Okay, how to the clean an uh, invitation for pol Um, A friend has invited you to go out, but you can make it. Follow our address and learn how you can decline an invitation for Larry and keep your friend. Um, to thanks your friends, you can say that so thanks so so much for asking me. It's so like a lot of fun. That thanks so so much for the for the invitation. Next, okay, uh, two. A police, a police, and explain with why you can't accept. You can say, "Sorry, sorry, but I already have plans. Sorry, but I have something else going to the day. I'm sorry, but I can't make it." I'm really busy this is day to offer another time to do something together. You can say, this week is crazy, but let's shut for next week. Maybe another time. I'm free next week. Can I take my rain check? Okay. Thank you so much. Very good. Wonderful. You have a few mistakes on pronunciation, like, for example, politely, right? Invitations politely. Very good. Um, yeah, so we have these options, right? Depending on the context we are facing. So the first one is to thank your friend. You can say this is precious. To apologize and explain why you can't accept, you can say, or to offer another time to do like something together. You can say this expressions as well. Yeah. Uh, this is like in a way that you sound polite when you like uh, refuse, right? Or decline an invitation. Yeah. So uh, you can use these phrases just to be polite. Uh, as the beginning, if you if you notice that it's like uh, an apology for most of them or like, or like just you can thank, okay? Um, sorry, 
yeah maybe it depends on the context okay question number one uh, juan jose garcia hello juan welcome question number one um do you feel comfortable declining friends invitations why yes or why not why not Okay, tell me please why why you you don't feel confident when you decline invitation from friends. Juan, can you participate, Juan? Yes. Yeah, sorry, teacher. Uh, I'm going in the traffic. Sorry. Oh, that that's okay. No problem. Thank you so much for letting me know. Ronald, can you participate, Ronald? Hello, hello, Ronald. No, okay, let me check. Somebody sent a message here in the chat. Okay, let me see. Okay, Maria Vilma. Okay, Liliana. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, Jacqueline. Hello, Jacqueline. Can you participate? Yes, teacher. Thank you. With question number one Do you feel comfortable declining friends' invitations? Just uh, read. No, answer the question. This one here. This one. Do you feel comfortable declining friends' invitations? Like when um, somebody when someone invites you to something, right? So party, and yes. and, and how do you feel declining? And you say no, right? No, I mean like yeah, because you decline the invitation. Mm, uh, to be honest, I am a person like it's really like complicated say no. So sometimes I feel bad of declining friends' invitations, but sometimes we have to say uh, no because you you don't you cannot do everything like at the same time okay yeah when you, if when you, you have say, another thing to say when, when you say that to when you when you better. when you say that you feel bad what do you mean by bad how come I mean, you say, yeah, you feel bad. I mean, why you feel bad? Like, I mean, give me an example of it. Uh, I feel bad, but maybe you have to explain to your friend that why you cannot, like, accept their invitation. Oh, there you go. There you go. Exactly right. Sometimes we decline. It's not because we, we want to, right? It's because we have something else to do. Yeah, very good. Thank yes. you so much. Wonderful. Evers, question number two, Evers. Thank you. This is what polite excuses you used, which are effective and which are not. Mm. Like, for example, Evers, if your suegra, right? Your, I don't know, mother-in-law invites you to, uh, uh, like, I don't know, to, let's say, a, so a barbecue. Yeah, and, and you got to decline yeah. that one. How, how, what are the phrases that you use? Uh, okay, teacher. It's a difficult question. Uh, but I can say, for example, I have to, to I have plans Mm, or I have to, I don't know, the chair is difficult for me. <laughs> okay. Sorry. That's See. okay. No problem. No yeah. problem. Thank you so much. Very good. Very good. Thank you so much. We will help you with that. Jose Mauricio Martinez, same question. What polite excuses you have, uh, I'm sorry, have you used and which are effective, which are not? The first one, I got... I got a job. I need to. I'm going to job. Oh, okay. The first one. That's Notice. the first excuse. <laughs> and it works. In my in my case, it works. Okay. That's uh, good. Which are not is 
when I say I'm sick, <laughs> they don't believe me. <laughs> so they say, oh, don't worry. Just take a pill and come yes. here. <laughs> yes. And that's the, oh. the bad excuse that I can say. <laughs> so you can say, okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Very okay. good. Oh, wonderful. We're going to have Luis Alberto Galicia. The last one is for you, Luis. Can you participate? Okay, Luis, a question for you, the last one. What is the best tip, in your opinion, like when it comes to declining an invitation? What is something that you can tell us that, that can help us to, let's say, to, to decline an invitation? Teacher, you have mute. Oh, Jesus, I forgot. Thank you so much, Luis. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's true, right? That's true. That's correct. There's a good tip. Thank you so much for uh, let us know that that about it. So let's take a look of the follow-up information here. Uh, give me a minute. We're going to have this conversation. <laughs> I love this picture. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Freddy. Hello, Freddy. Good evening. Help us. Look at this picture and describe it. Who are they? Are they friends? What are they wearing? Yeah, tell us, please. Uh, <clears throat> the the guys um, is um, is use um, is using a uh, uh, wear a, a jacket. Is wearing a jacket. Is wearing a jacket, and and uh, I, I don't know. I forgot sombrero. <laughs> oh, hat like the pizza. Ah, hat. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe they wearing wearing a uh, a bus <laughs> a, a bus station. Oh, oh, they are waiting at the bus station. Okay, uh, that is maybe. Correct. Probably. Are they are they brother and sister? Mm, no. Uh, I think uh, uh, they are a uh, boyfriend. Boyfriend. Okay. Boyfriends. Mm -hmm. they, they boyfriends. Okay. The, the girl is happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. It looks like she's so happy. Look at this one, right? Uh -huh. At the beginning, at the beginning, right? As you remember, <laughs> everything is happiness, right? And the, <laughs> everything is like... <laughs> and the boy is a uh, uh, worry. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to he, he's going to pay for dinner. He's going to uh -huh. pay for dinner, and he doesn't have enough money. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's it. That, exactly, that's good, teacher. That's a good thing to be to be worried about. Like if you invite somebody and you have enough money to pay for it. Oh, thank you so much. Very good, Freddie. Okay, teacher. Okay, so the title on the top we have are you going to do? I'm sorry, are you doing anything tomorrow? What is tomorrow? Anna. Hello, Anna. Good evening. Tell Hello, me, what is the meaning of tomorrow? Is that the past? Is that the present? What else is tomorrow? Or what is tomorrow? The past, the present, or? Uh, uh, yesterday. Or the future, Anna. What, what do you think? Uh, That's the past, the present, or the future? Eh, eh, oh, I'm sorry. Tomorrow. This is pressure here. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Mañana. Exactly. What is that? Present, past, or future? Past. I'm sorry. That is the future. That is the future, Anna. So that means tomorrow. Yesterday. 
Yesterday is past. Okay, yesterday is Sunday. Today, today, Monday okay. is okay. the present. Tomorrow, future. exactly. Tomorrow, Tuesday is going to be the future. So we're going to work with this conversation, something related to the future. Yes, what I want you to do at home is just listen and read. Here we go. Unit 15. What are you doing later? Page 100. Exercise 2. Conversation. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, Mike. What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go see the new photo exhibit? Thanks so much for asking me, but I can't. I'm going to have dinner with my parents. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I have class until four. So let's go around five. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Unit 15. What are you doing later? Page 100. Exercise 2. Conversation. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, Mike. What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go see the new photo exhibit? Thanks so much for asking me, but I can't. I'm going to have dinner with my parents. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I have class until four. So let's go around five. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay. Thank you so much, Jorge. Mauricio. Hello, Jorge. Welcome. Sorry, teacher. All right. Can you participate? Uh, yes, yes. I Wonderful. can. Tell us, what is this conversation about? Uh, well, uh, the two person, uh, two people, two people, sorry. Uh, it's talking about de que es de que harán mañana exactly what are they going to do when what are you going to do yeah when tomorrow right? tomorrow. tomorrow exactly what are they going to do tomorrow and, and where where are they going Jorge. Where are they going? Are they, are they going to? I don't know. We we going to have a uh, dinner with my with with Mike parents. Okay. Okay. Okay, but the main the main place where they're going, like. Is that the church? Is that the mall? Is that a photo exhibit? Uh, what's, where are they going? Mm. What's the name of the place? Uh, like, uh, or let's say, or like the event yeah. they will attend. Ese día me dijo que ya venía, ya le venía el tiempo que iba a uh, you want a to go? see a new photo exhibit exactly so very good so that's the play where they planning to go right they're going to a photo exhibit and what are they going to do after that tell us please edith edith tell us what are they going to do after that i'm sorry teacher repeat please what are they going to do after they like visit a photo exhibit what are they going to do mm. after that mm. they are going to be a dinner 
probably right yeah probably mm -hmm. uh, afterward maybe they they will have been very good I, I need you to save the conversation take a screenshot of this conversation please thank you save it so you can have it with you i'm going to open the breakout rooms for a moment so you can practice with your partners this conversation about doing something like planning something for um tomorrow let's say right between mike and alicia yes ready thank you so much uh give me a minute while i open the breakout rooms for you and um don't forget that you need to practice as many times as possible in the breakout rooms. Here we go. Uh, I will give you some time. Let me see. No, that's so much. Okay. So in the main room, in the main room, we're going to have Cindy, Stephanie, you stay in the main room, Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo, Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz, and Mirna del Carmen Ruano. You four stay here in the main room. So don't go into the breakout rooms. The rest of you, please join the breakout room so you can practice this conversation with your partners. Yes? Good, right, wonderful. One more time, Cindy, Edith, Elisa, and Mirna stay here in the main room. Please don't join. There you go, please join the breakout rooms. Thank you so much. Briseida, Claudia, Jacqueline, Ron, Evers, Freddy, Liliana, Blanca, Jorge, Joseph. Luis, Maria, very good. Ana Cristina, Kevin, eh, Jose Mauricio, please join. Thank you so much. Janessi, eh, Jose Alcides Leiva, and Tiffany, please join. Okay. Um, so Cindy, Mirna, and Elisa, and Edith, please just stay here in the main room, and I need you to practice this conversation as many times as possible. Yes, you can yeah. have the conversation. It's available on the chat on WhatsApp, I guess. So you can have it. So you go to WhatsApp and check. Over there, we have the photo that Tatiana sent us. Oh, Tatiana, she's very nice. Okay, so uh, she sent us the uh, conversation. Yes, I will check the other uh, rooms, okay? Thank you so much. Okay, Tiffany and Janessi. Hello, Tiffany. Hello. Thank you. You have the conversation on WhatsApp. This the revisa to WhatsApp over there. You can have the conversation. Okay, so you can practice. Yes. On WhatsApp, you have the conversation, so you check that. Yeah. Over there, you have Alicia and Mike. Yeah. Eh, creo que Janessa no tiene. Oh, Janessa, no you don't have. El micrófono. Oh, thank you. Yeah, she has. Yeah, it works. Okay. So, Tiffany, you are Alicia, and Janessi, you are Mike. Ready? <laughs> Tiffany? <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Mike, what are you doing tonight? Do tonight? Do you want to go see the new photo exhibit? Thank you so much for asking me, but I can't. Ay, Thank you so much for asking me, but... Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I have... Thanks. Oh, what happened? <laughs> uh, thanks so much. Thanks. Somebody wants a practice with me or with another person? Me, Alicia. Okay. Oh. Eh, ¿Quién quiere ser Mike? Briseida, Briseida, en Cindy, 
We started and Ronald. Si no le, si no le ayudamos, María. Uh -huh. okay. okay. You need help. Maria. Ma. Briseida. Stay here. Hello. Mirna, le vamos a ayudar. Comien. Okay. Uh, hey, Mike. What are you What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go see the new photo exhibit? Thanks so much for asking me, but I can. I going to have dinner with my parents. Oh well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow, so fine. I have class on the four. So let's go around fine. Okay, after work, maybe we can go get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay. Sounds great. Piece of cake, right, people? Yeah, very good. Wonderful. You're doing it very good. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, who's sharing, by the way? Okay, we go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for annoying you sharing the screen. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, very good. Uh, let me take the attendance really quick. Sorry about it. Uh, and then we can carry on with the practice. Okay. Um, Ana Cristina Peña de Paz. Ana Cristina Peña de Paz. I think I. I don't, I don't hear her. I don't, I don't know. Anna, are you here? I think I saw Anna. Yeah, I think I saw Anna. Oh, Present teacher. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Anna. Okay, thank you so much. Blanca is Olina Guzman Cruz. I'm here. Wonderful, nice to have you. Good evening. Um, Briseida Janet Garcia de Crespin is here, but she doesn't have a mic. Right? Cindy Stephanie Ramirez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Nice to have you, Cindy. Good evening. Claudia Yesenia Flores de Galdames. I'm here. Nice to have you and welcome. Da Christian David Galicia Ramirez. Present teacher. Nice to have you. Welcome. Daniela Mercedes Olivares Resinos. Daniela? No, she isn't. Uh, Evers Ernesto Perdomo Álvarez. I'm here, teacher. Nice to have you, Evers. Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo. I hear teacher. Nice to have you. Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Freddy Alberto Paz Carrillo. I'm here teacher. Thank you so much, Freddy. Nice to have you. Ileana Maria Alvarado Menjibar. I think she's here. I think she sent me a message. Uh, no, that was Liliana. Ileana, are you here? Because that's Ileana. No, she isn't here. Okay. Uh, what about Janessi Alexandra Lopez Portillo? I think you're here, right, Janessi? Present. Thank you. Jacqueline Vanessa Rodriguez Sanchez. Present. Nice to have you. Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez Alfaro. Present. Nice to have you and welcome. Jose Alcides Leiva Ibarra. Hello, Jose Alcides. I think I saw Jose Alcides. Let me double check that one. Maybe he's busy. Uh, Jose, no, he isn't, he's in here. Okay, what about um, Jose Mauricio Martinez Arabia? I'm here, present. Thank, thank you so much for being here. Uh, Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno Mercado. Present teacher. Good evening and welcome. Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. Present teacher, good evening. Thank you so much and welcome. Kevin Eduardo Flores Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar Juárez. I think Liliana sent me a message. Thank you, Liliana. I got you here. Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis. Hello, I'm here. Nice to have you, gentlemen. Welcome. Marcos Alberto Palacios Herrera. Good evening, teacher. Thank you so much, uh, Marcos. Maria Vilma Cortez Rivas. 
Hello, Maria Vilma. Are you here? I think I saw Maria Vilma. Maria Vilma. Maria. Yes, she's here. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Mailena de Los Angeles, Aragón, Playtest. No, she isn't. Mirna del Carmen Ruano Rivas. Oh, I'm sorry. Mirna del Carmen Ruano Reyes. Present teacher. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm sorry. Okay. Eh, Ronald Rafael Cruz Amaya. I think you're here. Thank you, Ronald, for being here. Sandra Noemi Pimentel Álvarez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez Méndez. Present. Eh, Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa Cortés. Present teacher. And also Carlos. Are you here, Carlos? Are you here, Carlos? No, he isn't. Okay. So, thank you so much for being here. Okay, uh, let's carry on. I'm going to have a few participation. Mirna del Carmen, you're going to be the first one. Okay, you are Alicia. Your partner is going to be uh, Marcos Palacios. You are Mike. Ready? Let's begin. Me, teacher. Alicia. That is correct. You, Alicia. Go ahead. Okay. Hey, Mike. What are what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go see the new photo photo exhibit exhibit? Thanks so much for asking me. But I can't. I going to have dinner with my parents. Oh well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We can only go then. Tomorrow sounds tomorrow sounds fine. I have class on the fourth. So let's go around five. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Wonderful. Very good. Thank you so much, Sandra Noemi Pimentel. Thank you, Sandra. You are going to be Alicia. Uh, your partner is going to be, let me see, Tiffany. Can you participate, Tiffany? Yes. Tiffany. Wonderful. Tiffany, you are going to be Mike. Ready? Let's begin. Okay. Hey, Mike. What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go to see the new oral exam? Thanks so much for asking me. But I can't. I'm going to have dinner with my parents. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We, we call Godin. Tomorrow, sounds fine. I have class on tomorrow. So let's go around five. Okay, after what, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Very good. Sounds great. Thank you so much. Kevin, you are going to be Alicia, Kevin. Yes, your partner is going to be Freddy. You are going to be Mike, Freddy. Ready? Let's begin. Hey, Mike. What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go see the new photo exhibit? Hey, thanks so much for asking me, but I can I'm going to have dinner with my parents. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I have class until four. Okay, uh, so let's go around fine. Okay, after work, Maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Thank you so much. Very good, the two of you. That's beautiful. Unit fifth. We're going to have the rest of this conversation, which is about um, two questions that we're going to solve here. Uh, where are Alicia and Mike going to have dinner? Like, what is the place? And the other one is, what? Oh, Jesus. Who are they going to meet for dinner? Like, is there somebody else there with them? Okay. So we're going to answer these two questions based on the audio. I will play it and then you tell me. Okay, here we go. Page 100, exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. 
Where are Alicia and Mike going to have dinner? Who are they going to meet for dinner? After the exhibit, do you want to go to the Korean house for dinner? Sure. I love their food. We can go around seven. Look, there's Garrett. Maybe he can join us. Yeah. Hey, Garrett. What are you doing tomorrow after class? Do you want to go to a photo exhibit with me and Mike? Then dinner at the Korean house? We're meeting at five. Oh, I have class till 6.30. But why don't I meet you for dinner later? Can you text me the address? Sure. Page 100. Exercise 2. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where are Alicia and Mike going to have dinner? Who are they going to meet for dinner? After the exhibit, do you want to go to the Korean house for dinner? Sure. I love their food. We can go around seven. Look, there's Garrett. Maybe he can join us. Yeah. Hey, Garrett. What are you doing tomorrow after class? Do you want to go to a photo exhibit with me and Mike? Then dinner at the Korean house? We're meeting at five. Oh, I have class till 6.30. But why don't I meet you for dinner later? Can you text me the address? Sure. Okay, question number one. Where are Alicia and Mike going to have dinner? To a Korean restaurant. Exactly. Wonderful. Very good. And who are they going to meet for dinner? Another friend named Garrett. Named Garrett. That's correct. Yeah, Garrett. Very good. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Great job. We're going to have some vocabulary, as you may see here. What is Maria Vilma? Hello, Maria Vilma. Can you participate? Maria Vilma, can you participate? Yes or no? Let's work with Cindy. Hello, Cindy. Can you participate? Cindy? Yes, Tell me, please. Here we have this exercise. First of all, read the vocabulary, and then we, we can do the exercise all together. Yeah, please. Read the instructions, then the vocabulary. Cindy, please. Okay. Uh, match the words in columns A and B. Write the names of the events. Baseball, birthday, car, class, medical, rock, tennis, appointment, course, concert, game, match, party, race, and re reunion. Very good. Reunion. Very reunion. good. Reunion. Reunion. We have events as well here. So they have the first one, baseball game. What is the number two? Happy birthday. Birthday party. Oh, yes. That one. Birthday. Very good. Birthday party, right? Yeah. It's a birthday party. Where we have Seppi Yin song, right? Yeah. Do you remember <laughs> Seppi Yin song? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> oh, there is there is one that is very catchy. Like it's Baila con el Ula O. That's the name of the song. Yeah. That's a, that's a very catchy song. Whenever I, I go to a birthday party, that's the song that I used to play, right? Baila con el Ula O. Very good. Thank you. Oh, what is the next one? Oh, that's good as well. That's good as well. Very good. What about number three? Car race. Oh, car race. Car race, right? Okay, number four. Class reunion. Oh, we have a class reunion. Yeah. We don't have this one in El Salvador, right? I guess. No. Right. No. It's like sometimes we are so like, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know. We we don't get along with some people. I'm sorry. Medical. <laughs> what about the five? Medical appointment. Medical appointment. appointment. Exactly. Right. Medical. Oh, this one is difficult to get. If you go to El Is, right? Instituto Salvadoreño del Sic. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, it's medical concert. <laughs> this is that's a medical party. <laughs> <laughs> so if you go today, you're gonna get like an appointment, like maybe like in six months. <laughs> or in a year. <laughs> or in a <Yes>. year. <laughs> yeah. And and you gotta be early because they don't care. They don't care about you. It's just like 
I'm sorry. We saw like full. Maybe like we can get an appointment for you like in six months. And don't forget, don't die before like <laughs> before we get this one because they don't get not notifications. When people die before they get like into a an appointment, they don't get notified. They just like stay there and say your name. They say your name. Once I was like at uh, that place and they were calling, oh, the patient and the patient wasn't there. Uh, and the patient was already like dead. Yeah, and they were still calling that the patient. I, I don't know why, uh, but they were doing it. And that was somehow strange for me. And that was scary. Yeah. So just just to just to let you know <laughs> that horrible experience. <laughs> I'm sorry about it. Okay. What about number six? Your favorite. What about this one? Rock uh, concert. Exactly right. Yeah. I, I love this rock music. Uh, from back in the 90s or maybe 80s, right? Where like they were young, for example, ACDC, uh, Gums and Roses, Aerosmith. Like they were pretty young and their Metallica. voices were like good. Yeah. Yeah, I miss I miss that kind of music. Yeah. The concert that... Proof. Exactly, right? Yeah. I mean, they're gone because they are all nowadays. So their, their voices are gone. But back in the days, they were like really good voices, you know what I mean? Like yeah. from Madonna, Elton John, um, yeah, a bunch of artists, yeah, that from England, uh, a lot of bands like Bon Jovi, uh, I don't know, different bands. Different from different... Roses. Exactly, exactly. Bowie as another one, yeah. Um, so good, good rock, let's say, uh, music, and good voices that we yeah, don't have done it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. So even even I miss yes. Rancheras music with Chente Fernandez. Yeah, I miss those. We don't have Rancheras anymore. Yeah. No. Antonio Aguilar. Oh, exactly. That's a good one, right? That's a good one. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Oh, good yes. music. Everything is yes. gone. Now we just have. How do you call if this you kind felt, of music? If you fell down in alcohol, it's very good. <laughs> <laughs> Los temerarios, <¿verdad>? Yes. <laughs> El bookie is coming. His bookie is coming in December. Okay. Be ready. Be ready. And the last one is uh, where will we stop? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <true>. <laughs> <laughs> we have a mix. We have a mix from, from now. Yes. From our where will we station. stop? <laughs> Tennis match. Okay. Tennis match. Very good. Thank you so much. Very good. So these are compound words, as you notice, right? We have two words together, so then we can um have a meaning of, of something here, right? Remember, these are like some events, events that sometimes we get invited, right? For example, a birthday party, you should get an invitation. For a car race, if you love cars, maybe once in a while you can get an invitation. A class reunion, right? You remember when you were in high school, Marcos? Do you remember when you were in high school? Mm -hmm. Do you remember high school? Not high school musical, right? <laughs> the movie, no. I'm talking about <laughs> like uh, when you were in high school, yeah? Yes. Uh, yeah, so when people from there, they can like have a class reunion, right? Um, and they can like meet in one place and, 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 and talk about... Uh, Past events. Okay. Medical appointment is an oh, this one is like for sure we can have it, right? A rock concert. Yeah. If somebody invites you to a rock concert, that's your best friend forever. Yeah. So you can give, I don't know, half of your kidney if that is needed. Because like a, 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 an invitation to a rock concert is pretty much good. And a tennis match. We don't have in El Salvador a lot of these ones. Yeah. Unless you're rich. Like if you're rich, maybe you can go to a tennis court in practice by here in El Salvador we, uh, we don't get a lot of invitations about this thing by right? tennis match I don't know you tell me you tell me yeah the only thing that I get here is like una revuelta de pelota right that's the only you one that get I get a membership oh yeah so that's expensive sounds expensive right Jose Mauricio yes wow. yes it is because I think there is one here like El Circulo Militar I guess that is there is one there also, La US, they got some tennis court. Yeah. Uh, I and think the so. Santa Tecla Stadium. Oh, Santa Tecla Stadium. Oh, yes. And the most popular, the Club Campestre. 
Oh, yeah, but that one you're talking about. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't have that one. I don't have that one. <laughs> That's too much for me. <laughs> I got to get I, some, I, some. I guess for everyone. Uh -huh. tennis, yeah. tennis, table, table oh. tennis. Oh, table tennis. Oh, that's good. No, because I got I'm like saving money so I can buy some gallinas. Yeah, for this coming for this Christmas. Yeah, I gotta get some gallinas and some pollos indio. Yeah, so so that's expensive. I'm sorry about it. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have the video about the grammar part. Let's listen and well. Hi. So are you ready to talk about future plans? Good for you. I want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program and don't go as we'll stay and explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Page 101. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Future with present continuous and be going to. With present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. With be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until 5. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. As you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we plan actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous, instead we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be, am, um, are, is, plus verb, plus ing. Examples, she's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, am, um, are, is, plus going to, plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. He's going to cook. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, you may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. WH question word, plus be, plus subject, plus verb, plus ing, plus complement and question mark. Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this, WH question word, plus be, plus subject, plus going to, plus infinitive verb, plus complement and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio program and the explanation, we want you to go over and learn these time expressions. This will help you to give more information when giving an answer. Time expressions. Tonight. Tomorrow, on Friday, this weekend, next week. Can you share with us what you're going to do this weekend? Write your plans in our discussion box. So, here we have future with the present continuous and with be going to. This thing is about the future pretty much. Yeah, so don't worry about something else. The only thing you need to figure it out here is that is, this is the future. Yeah, we have two ways. Well, we have many ways to talk about the future. These two are one of those. Um, 
we can use the with present continuous. What are you going to do tonight? I'm going to a party. Are you going to do anything tomorrow? And also we can use be going to, that is future as well. There is a quite like a slight difference between these two, right? We're gonna use the present continuous to both something that is happening now. What are you doing? I'm studying. You also use the present continuous when the expression to talk about the future. What are you going to do? What are you doing tomorrow? And working. Use be going to, to talk about the future as well. So basically what it's telling you here is like you can use both of them. Yeah. Now, when are you going to use present continuous? Pretty much when it comes to near future. You know what I mean? Something that is close to happen. Yes. And use going to when you plan to do something. You know what I mean? Yes. So that's the difference. You can use both of them which comes to talk about the future and and also and also, right? Just take a look. This one is something that is happening in near future, right? Very close. This one also will happen very close. However, this one is like something like a little bit more formal, something that you planned before. Yeah. Uh, what is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to see a play. Um, are, are they going to see the photo exhibit? Yes, they are going to see. Yeah. But if you want to use this one as well, you can use it. If you want to this uh, this one as well, you can use it. Yeah. Just when you're talking about planning something, I recommend to use this one. Okay. Yep. This one is like sometimes spontaneous as well, right? Are you going to have dinner? Are you going to have lunch today? No, I'm sorry. I have a meeting. Yeah. So this is like somehow like something like quite, page 101. Quite spontaneous. Oh, let me see if we have the time. Okay. Wow, we don't have enough time. So we're going to do a few of these exercises. Here we have a calendar. As you may see, we have days of the week. Then we have the, the date the number and then we have some information like parts of the day afternoon then we have some expressions like a verb or an, an event play tennis with Brock so here we have also Sunday Monday Tuesday right so what are we going to do here pretty much we are going to make up some sentences from this calendar about Joe's let's say activities right or plans Yes, and we're going to use the present continuous. This is just with present continuous. On Sunday afternoon, Joe is going to play tennis with Brooke. Okay. What about the number two? What is the number two sentence? Based on the calendar. Mm -hmm. Yes, maybe on Monday, mm -hmm. I'm going to... Attend the manager's meeting at work. Okay, so this Attend. one is, is Joe is. It's going to. Okay, very good. It's going to. Attend the okay. manager's meeting. Okay, the manager's. At work manager's at 10 p.m. Meeting, okay. At work. Uh, it's 10, 10, 10 a.m. Maybe. No, I think we're going to have it like this one. Because we don't have the time, basically, as you may see over there. Yes. So on Monday, Joe is going to attend the mat. Oh, Jesus, I didn't stay here. Managers meeting at work, yeah. We, yes, because you, you, you're, we, you're angry. <laughs> <laughs> just because I'm having a meeting, yeah. Just because we're having a meeting, yeah. <laughs> that makes me angry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I I didn't intend that. Okay, I didn't intend that. Uh, let me double check. Yes, yes. I think this is the correct one. On Monday, Joe is going to attend the managers meeting at work. I think that's correct, right? And then. We can have another sentence based on t on Tuesday, based on, on Wednesday, on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. This topic is, is not quite difficult, as you may see, right? Um, 
maybe it's quite long, I guess, because the structure is quite long. Because remember, verb to be, we're gonna use it here. And yes. unfortunately, uh, the time is over. But one good thing is that tomorrow we still have another class. So we're gonna practice this one a little bit more tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here, people. Enjoy your night. Thank you so much. Thank you. For Thank you. Take have care. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.